Welcome back everybody. Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. As you know, Thanksgiving is just right around the corner and a lot of us love a fried turkey, deep fried turkey. Problem is, is that it's messy, it's dangerous, causes a lot of fire, sets a lot of homes on fire every year. So, um, and then it, you, you go to places like Popeyes and KFC where they have um, deep fried turkeys available. Well, we just checked in to Popeyes this week and it's $60 for an eight pound turkey for a deep fried Cajun turkey. $60 for an eight pound turkey. That's a lot of money. So anyway, I've been looking around for safer um, alternatives and because uh, the oil is very expensive and it's peanut oil. So those folks that have uh, peanut allergies can't eat a deep fried turkey, unfortunately. And then there's the fire hazard. You have to dip the turkey in slowly so you can uh, boil off the excess water very quickly uh, when you first put it in for cooking. And then it's about uh, 40 minutes to an hour later that you have the turkey. And, but then you gotta check on the, the constant uh, temperatures. You got a lot of work to do on a roast turkey. Well, like I said, I found an alternative online. And this is it. It's a deep fry, deep fryer for turkeys. But we don't need any oil. This air fries it. And so last night, uh, I took it out of the box. I received this. This was on Amazon Prime. This was $100 for this cooker. And then there's also uh, accessories that you can buy for, for this. This is made by Charbroil. It's brand new. I just happened across it uh, searching for uh, deep fryers for turkeys. And I was looking for a safer alternative. Now I don't have to worry about the oil because that's nearly two and a half gallons three gallons of uh, peanut oil that is thirty dollars a box and typically you can only cook two turkeys with that oil at the most so it gets to be very expensive you have the the fuel that you're using you have thirty dollars for the oil some of uh, us like to marinate our turkeys uh, I've already ordered the Cajun injection uh, marinade, which will be coming in the next few days. But anyway, that'll be for our turkeys. And so I was looking, like I said, for a safer alternative, but also City of Oakland says that we can't have open flames. So this has no open flames. It's completely sealed. Here's a, a ventilation hood. So it's all screen, so it stops the splatter. You have the standard basket which you put the turkeys in. This will accommodate up to a 16 pound turkey, according to Char Broil. And so that, that's a pretty good sized turkey. And then we have a meat thermometer gauge, which comes with the, the cooker. And then we have the cooker itself. And this is the insert. This is the insert where the turkey goes in. And then inside of here, and we're just going to tilt this so you can see that. Look inside there, you can see the uh, element. And it's like a, a gas grill, just without the oil. <laughs> so last night I was doing the official burn in on this so that it burns off all the uh, <coughs> coatings and everything on this. And so I'm going to cook some tur uh, chickens. Yesterday uh, we had a, um, a donor drop off a case of chickens. So I'm going to be cooking some chickens today for the camp. And along since I had to go get a, a new propane tank, I also got a, a chicken accessory so that the chicken stands upright. This, you can actually put a can of soda on this to keep the chicken really moist. And so that's why I bought this. And so this will go 
simply right inside the basket with the chicken in there and and it'll cook for about an hour and then we're going to see how uh, it comes out so come back we'll be right back in about an hour with our first cooked chicken and then you'll be able to see how it cooks first hand and this is like I said brand new it's going to save a ton of money because you're not spending the 30 32 dollars for that two and a half gallon box of uh, peanut cooking oil for this and you can only use the peanut cooking oil on the traditional deep fryer because that's what uh, can withstand the extended uh, extra hot period because typically oils start uh, burning right about 350 degrees 325 degrees oil starts burning and smoking and so we don't want that and that would be too hot and, and uh, so you have to back the, the oil down. What, typically when uh, you deep fry a turkey, you, watch, you get the uh, oil up to 350 degrees, then you slowly insert the turkey into that oil, and then that's where a lot of fires begin, because if you don't slowly insert that turkey into the boiling, water, or boiling oil, it could boil over, and then the oil that spills out goes on the flame and then you have fire everywhere. That's why you always want to have a fire extinguisher at hand, an ABC fire extinguisher like I last spoke about it with uh, my fire extinguisher tools. So anyway, we want to have that available in case of fires. You may never need it. We hope that you never need it, but one of the things with this, we know we will never need it with this because we don't have any oil. It is infrared convection cooking. And so we'll be right back in an hour show you how that turkey uh, how that chicken came out so we'll be right back okay now I've just started preheating the charbroil turkey fryer and there's a light flame inside the basket is in it's all preheating I prepared the chicken and I'm going to put it this is marinated with a soda can on the bottom to keep things uh, moist and then I have coated the chicken itself with some Cajun spices so I'm just going to put this in the rack here I'm going to put a little more spicing on the top because I wiped some off so now the chicken is all prepared here it is in the basket we're going to put it in And we'll come back in about 30 minutes to check on it and then we'll be back hopefully in an hour and it'll be completely cooked and ready uh, for eating but then we have to check it with this meat thermometer and so just so that you can see it has a setting for poultry which is 165 degrees and so we'll be inserting that into the breast area which is the thickest part to make sure that the chicken is at 165 degrees before we serve it or pass it out to the uh, camp here but anyway we're going to try it out you'll see it how it works and then you can decide if that might be something that could be valuable for your family for this Thanksgiving but we also can use this as a heater I've been I used this last night uh, during the, the break-in period for uh, heat preheating and cooking everything with the heat so that it gets heat normalized and so I ran that from four o'clock this morning until I woke up at seven and it was great uh, inside of my shelter was nice and warm also I have a grill that I can actually put on top of here and actually cook meat steaks and whatever else uh, this morning uh, during the uh, while I was laying it uh, sit I also heat it up in, in a pan it, uh, some water underneath then put another pan on top and I warmed up tamales yeah I warmed up tamales this is going to be a great little tool because the city of Oakland says we can't have any open flame this has no open flame even though it has a flame so this is going to be great we'll be back in an hour see how that chicken is doing okay it's been an hour and 15 minutes now uh, I've been checking it regularly. I've been uh, stabbing the chicken breast with a uh, meat thermometer. I'm going to show you right now. 
how uh, hot the, the tur uh, chicken is right now. I'm going to stick it into the breast, scraping the bone, and it's coming up to temperature right now. We've exceeded the 165. We're on to 170, so it's well cooked. It's coming down right now, but here we go. We're going to pull it out. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So here's the chicken right out of the fryer. I mean, that's a beautiful, beautiful brown color. And I put a Cajun spice on the exterior, so it's really nice. It's going to taste really good, a lot of flavor in it. So right now, this is number one. We have about uh, a dozen of these to cook throughout the day, so this is the first one. We're going to see if it, if it cooks consistently, and we're going to time things for an hour and 15 minutes. But so far, we're really happy. I'm really happy. This looks really crispy. So I'm going to try this out and we'll be right back. Welcome back folks, Derek Sue here. We just finished our second chicken and I, I put a, another one in to start, but I wanted you folks to see that this is consistent. It is coming out very consistent. And so you look at that, that is a beautiful, nice roast on there. Skin is well done. So. We're real happy with this. Uh, and the uh, the first chicken we uh, gave to one of the residents, and he said it was one of the best chickens that he had in recent times. So we're real happy with that. That it's it's come out really well. So uh, I I do recommend this because it's saving a lot of money. It's safe. Produ produces a lot of heat. You can cook uh, meat roasts in here. I've been reading the book on this. We can do roasts. We can do pork, beef, yeah, and big chunks of meat. We can do ribs. Can you imagine that? We can actually do ribs on this by hanging it on the sides rather than laying it in there. So a little different. Not going to have the smoky taste, but yeah, this is an option that's new. And I really like it so far. Anyway, here's the box for those of you who want to see. It's a big box that it comes in, so that's for sure. But uh, you can also buy, this was the very basic kit, and it had the, uh, the very minimum about materials. That's why it was only uh, $100. But then some of the more accessorized versions go up to about $180. So there are accessories. I didn't feel that I needed all of those accessories. I needed the basics and I wanted to try it out because it is a new item. And yeah, somebody's gotta try it out, see if, it, if it's worthwhile or not. I say that it is worthwhile and you should try it too. So stick with us, we'll be right back. 